Hi, God bless everyone. So I want to start off this video asking for prayer. For the last two or three days, I have only gotten two, about two hours of sleep. And yesterday, I literally started passing out. Like I was standing up and all of a sudden I just fell. And that happened to me a couple of times. And I try to lay down, but I just lay down. And sleep is not coming to me. I have had prophetic dreams that I did not share, but I did discuss them. I can't say I didn't share them because I've discussed them before, where I was shown that it's witchcraft to mess up my sleep. So I'm asking you guys to pray for me because I have been praying. I get up and I read the Bible and I pray. I do all of that. And I'm still having trouble going to sleep. So I'm very concerned at this point because yesterday was kind of scary because I like passed out lot not like not fell asleep like I was just walking and I just fell and it happened to me I think three times so I'm very concerned about that and then I lay down to try to go to sleep and once again I got two hours of sleep so yeah I've been up since probably about two yeah about two something this morning couldn't go back to sleep right now it is seven something this morning and you know, I just get up and I read the Bible and read the Bible, study the Bible, pray, get on my knees, get on my sackcloth, glory to God. I pray, I do all of that and worship the Lord, praise God, have some beautiful visions this morning of the Lord and I don't plan to share them, but they were just intimate, beautiful visions of him. So please, you guys say a prayer for me and pray, say a prayer for my family because my whole family has been suffering. Not as bad as me, but definitely there's some type of witchcraft that has been done to mess up our sleep. And honestly, I know this is going to sound crazy, but I'm just going to be truthful. I sense that they're also doing something in the air. I sense that it's something, I sense that real strong the other day. As a matter of fact, I forgot to turn up my my air purifier. Well, I forgot. I did turn it up a couple of days ago and I slept good that day. So yeah, there's something with the air. You guys, if you have an air purifier, turn it up, you know, and I got to tell my kids that. And I think even forgetting, that's a form of witchcraft too, to forget to do things that you need to do and taking magnesium. I don't take sleeping pills or anything like that. But you guys can look into this. Magnesium is a deficiency that a lot of people have that keeps them from going to sleep. So taking that, and then usually when I take my magnesium, I also take potassium, but potassium doesn't necessarily help with sleep. It just helps with other things. But anyway, let me get into this video. You guys just pray for me. Just pray for me. I ask you to please pray for me and my family and even my granddaughter, Cherry, you guys. She's a baby. And for the last couple of days, even she has been having so much trouble going to sleep, tossing and turning, because usually a lot of nights she sleeps with me and I haven't even been able to sleep with her for the last uh, day or two because she's been tossing and turning all over the place, keep waking up. So it's something going on. It's some kind of attack. And I ask you all to pl pre please pray for me and pl pray for the whole church. Amen. And you guys, I'm not going to edit this video, so you may hear some ums and pauses and things of that nature because I'm in a hurry this morning. I actually have a lot to do. So I want to get right into this revelation I received. Years ago, I shared a prophetic experience that I had. Glory to God. <laughs> it was quite embarrassing. I did not want to share it. And it always amazes me that people say they don't believe it. You know what? It was like pulling teeth to share that it was so embarrassing for me because I literally went to hell for masturbation. That was many years ago. And I did not want to share that. I was so embarrassed to share that, but I had to share it. Anyway, I want to make this point in that experience. Satan bit me when I was in hell. It was a real tiny little bite on my hand. And when he bit me, and you guys, I'll try to remember to put that video in the description box so you can see it for yourself. I hope I included this part, but that was years ago, so I'm not sure if I included it or not. I don't know. I haven't seen that video in forever because I made that video many years ago. <laughs> and even when I made the video, it was 
a long time after the experience because I had released it on Facebook but and then make the video. Anyway, let me get into this, you guys. So he bit me, right? When he bit me, there was a poison in his saliva. saliva, And that poison stung me real bad. Just the poison itself, it stung so bad. And the poison went up my arm. And after the experience was over, after I came back from hell and all of that, glory to God, I felt that pain for days. The Lord let me feel that pain for days. So, and I've had prophetic experiences like that multiple times. I don't even know if I said that in that video that I felt it for multiple days, but I did. Sometimes when I record and stuff, I accidentally, I don't do it on purpose. I accidentally neglect to leave out very important details. And then another huge thing that I've done many times is when I see my prophecies come to pass, I usually almost never come back and make a video about that. Like, you know, just sad note, okay? I had a season in my life where I was having all these prophetic dreams about judgment coming to child molesters. And after that season of prophecy, there was a huge arrest all over, like all over the world of all these child, molester, child molesters being exposed human trafficking sites for children being exposed, all these children being released and all of that. So that came to pass and I can go on and on, but you know, that's neither here nor there. But I just usually don't come back out and make the video. So anyway, that happened to me for days. I felt it for days. It was like, you know, yeah, <laughs> as if I didn't know the experience was real enough, which I already did. But this is the revelation, you guys. Just now, I received a revelation about how when they are activated, you see right now they have the snake venom running through their veins. And you guys know what I'm talking about. You know I can't say it. But you know they're taking the, the snake bite, you know, uh, these people who think they're being cured. And this is snake venom. This is serpent DNA. This is running through their veins. And it is that same type of poison. Now, for me, praise God, it wasn't physical. It was a spiritual manifestation because I was in sin and the Lord wanted me to really feel that and come out of that sin because I was a huge stronghold in my life at the time. And God did what he needed to do. Amen. But for them, this is a physical manifestation because they have taken this in the physical world and it is turning them into monsters, beasts, zombies, Whichever one you want to throw out there, vampires, werewolves, I've seen it all. They turn it into monsters. They turn it into beasts. Anyway, this poison that, that runs through their, vein, their veins is just like the serpent DNA from Satan. And not only that, you guys, what are they showing in all of these movies and these vampire movies and these zombie movies and werewolf movies as well? You know, what happens? They bite them. And then they turn. And why is that? You know, because that may sound crazy to somebody. Like, you know, why can't we be around these people with the snake venom? Why Why we got to stay away from Shana? You know, why we don't want to sit down and let them do our nails? Uh, you know, do something, be touching our body, giving us a massage. The devil is a lie. Because this snake venom, when it goes into another person, it's almost the exact same thing as them taking the snake venom voluntarily. And at that point, and you guys, I don't care. I'm sorry because I'm still getting to this day. I'm still getting, even though my comments are off, trust me, <laughs> people have a way of reaching me. And I'm still getting comments from people that find all of this hard to believe. I, I don't care. I don't care. I'm sorry. I mean, I care. Let me let me take that back. I do I I somewhat care. I'm sure somewhere deep down there's some care. But I'm not gonna sugarcoat the truth to you guys anymore. I'm not gonna do that. Not not at this late stage in the game. And I'm telling you what I saw. The Lord showed me this. I did not make this up. I wasn't thinking this. I don't know how to create and invent invent this stuff. I don't do that. The Lord shows me extraordinary mind blowing things. And one thing he showed me is that when the snake venom enters a person's DNA, it is not their mouth, okay? Like these fake movies out here. 
one guy, I'm tempted to say it right now, but I'm, I'm not going to say it because I don't want to throw off this video. But a lot of people think that he was a man of God and he made all these movies about the end days. And he's a demon in human form. And I neglected to put him and his sister on my list, but they are both demons in human form. Anyway, finish with that side note. Let me get back to the point that I'm making. In these fake movies, they show these people pledging their allegiance with their mouth, okay? They say, I will worship the Antichrist. I will worship the image of the beast, you know, whatever. They're making these declarations to the beast, to the Antichrist. But that's not reality. Think about it, you guys. When Cain got his mark, it was a spiritual mark. These marks are spiritual. I know that for a fact. I'm not making this stuff up because I've seen it. I've literally seen it. God has showed me these things. He showed me these things spiritually. And I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. And when these people take these marks, they are spiritually marked. And those people who at least had some form of a cross, they may have had a tiny cross or a little line or something, their cross immediately starts blinking. It starts blinking because they've taken the snake venom and then eventually it starts fading and fading and gone. I know that for a fact. I'm telling you guys the facts. And so what point am I making? It is not a physical declaration that they make. It is a spiritual declaration. And their spirit says, I will worship the beast and his image. So let me further explain, because I did not explain this. And God forgive me, because this is on me right now. <clears throat> I had a dream about somebody that I knew. And I neglected to say this part because I did not want to shame this person. But this has been heavy on my heart because I need to tell the whole truth, okay? In that dream, I was shown how this person would have taken the mark of the beast. If the opportunity was there, they would have taken it. But what I neglected to say is that I was shown in that dream that the mark of the beast would not have taken in them because they had a mental illness. And because of their mental illness, their spirit did not worship the mark. Their spirit did not worship the Antichrist, I mean. And it did not worship the image of the beast. So it would not have taken in them. And I was literally shown that in that dream. I tried to say it in other ways. I did try to say it in other ways. I just did not want to shame that person. And I feel bad now. I don't want to shame them. But I have to come out and tell you guys that. Because they have been forcing this mark this uh, snake venom on people that are mentally ill and children and animals and everything like that. And I had the same revelation I received on animals. The Lord showed me that. I know he showed my youngest daughter that. I don't know who all else about how they forcing it on animals and these animals that was righteous, that they spirit did not accept worshiping the uh, beast in his image. The mark did not take in them. And so what do I mean by that? They did not turn into beasts. And when they were activated, like when this these things were activated, it had no effect on them. Oh, excuse me. And actually, it either it even came out of them, you guys. And I'm sorry, you guys that listen to my videos, you don't hear all the mess ups that I usually edit out, but I'm in a hurry this morning. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna have to upload this video. But that was the revelation that I had, you guys. They are taking this serpent DNA, amen, is what I experienced in hell. And it's why when they be bite people and they turn into monsters, they turn into beasts, just like the movies. This is what I've seen. I've seen this. Many people have seen this. I'm not the only one. We've seen this. And I would show you guys other people's videos if I could, I guess. I don't know, but I don't keep a playlist of that anymore. <laughs> Because I've just seen so many people, I'm sorry, but I got my phobias. I've just seen so many people fall in these end days. I'm very jaded now. Very jaded. Because <sighs> I don't want to lead you guys to someone and then they fall off and lead you astray. I feel responsible for that. Because if I bring people into, and a lot of, a lot of people on my channel follow people that I don't follow at all. I've been stopped following them, but don't listen to none they say. Um, you know, 
Anyway, you guys, that was a revelation I had. Please keep me and my children, my family, my home, my possessions in your prayers as I pray for you all as well. Because definitely I believe this is an attack and I cannot be just passing out, you guys. Um, and it's also affecting my dreams. I didn't have a dream today. And usually if I don't get a lot of sleep, I don't have a dream. But... The other day I did have a dream, just thinking about that. I slept for like two hours and I had a dream. But almost all the time, if my sleep is messed up, I usually don't get my dreams. So this is affecting me on a personal, prophetic level as well. So please pray for me. I love you all so much. Bye.